Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. Now, there's a part of that we don't like, the whole take my yoke upon you. And so Jesus says, Part of the reason you're worn out is you've been carrying a yoke of another master who's cruel and driving you into the ground. He says, take my yoke upon you for I am a gentle master. I do not desire to drive you into the ground to work you to the bone. He said, that's, that's not who I am. Now we respond to that and we say, look, I don't want to have anybody's yoke on my shoulders. The ideal life is to cast off whatever yoke and to have no master and lead my own life. And Jesus is like, the greatest illusion of all is to think you have no yoke and that you are your own master. Oh, you have a yoke on your shoulders. If you don't have a yoke in your shoulders and you're doing your own thing, why are you so worn out and exhausted? Whatever you're doing is not working for you. Take my yoke. Try my yoke, for I'm gentle and humble in heart. But look at what Jesus says, though. Look what Jesus says. He says, come to me, I'll give you rest. The key to it comes in verse 29, though. Take my yoke upon your shoulders and learn from me, for I'm gentle, I'm humble in heart. And taking my yoke, letting me be master learning from me, watching me, listening to me, imitating how I go about my life. Take my yoke, learn from me, and the result of learning from me is you will find rest. So it's not like pray a prayer, pixie dust, spiritual, spiritual pixie dust makes it all better, but learning the way of Jesus, imitating the way of Jesus, leads you into a place of rest in which we are replenished mentally, emotionally, physically, spiritually. 